Lucy was so good at being funny that people forget she was also a great beauty. In fact, it was her looks that got her in the door, first as a model and then as an actress in B-movies. In 1940, she appeared in a movie with a Cuban singer who would eventually steal her heart. They were married in November of the year, and ten years later, they approached CBS about doing a sitcom, loosely based on their marriage together. They called it I Love Lucy. Despite strong prejudice against Latin Americans, Desi Arnaz built the empire known as Desilu Studios from the ground up and gained a reputation as one of the smartest businessmen in Hollywood. There has never been a success like Lucy. She was on CBS for 23 consecutive years and won four Emmys and countless other awards. By anyone's measure, she was the queen of comedy. On camera, Lucy and Ricky Ricardo exaggerated marital troubles and made us all laugh. The public thought they were the perfect match. Off camera, the marriage fell apart. In 1960, Lucy filed for divorce amidst allegations that Desi drank too much and cheated on her. America was heartbroken. So apparently was Lucy. But they managed to remain friends until his death in 1986. When I sat down with Lucy and Gary, I wasn't sure what to expect. She was 66 at the time, Desi was still alive, and the subject of her first marriage was still painful. I mean, when you and Desi were married, you had everything. He had nothing. He was a, a, he had his own band, and he was in a play in New York, and he was a kid. Well, you were married. But we were then, married. at the success. Then we built up right. a lot of things. Right. But, but then people, while they were building, him. they would not believe that he was doing the building. Yeah. And he was doing the successful building of a very well-run empire. I was doing the acting and having the children. I, was, I had no part of it. I took that on much later. But I knew what he had suffered, really, and uh, how he did not deserve that. And just because he was Cuban and once a bongo player did not uh, warrant calling him any of those names. And he worked very hard and got a lot of respect for what he did, and they forgot about that. You had the success. The marriage was perfect. It was everything. And then it fell apart. That was his problem. And I heard you were devastated. I couldn't understand it any more than, you know, for the same reason you're asking the question. It seemed like we had everything. I think people still don't understand. I don't either. Oh, I think that's passed. <clears throat> it's certainly passed. I think it's passed. But uh, we certainly did have everything and worked very hard to get it and two beautiful children and what else can you ask for? And I think if Desi were here right now, he would agree that it was... But when we're talking about the marriage, you had said, I didn't make the same marriage mistake twice. This marriage is very different. This man is very different. I'm cute. He's I... not a loser. I married a loser before. I, he, he could win, win, high, high, high stakes. He could work very hard. He was brilliant. But he had to lose. This man's sweet. I like getting up in the morning. So the other man's sweet and generous, overly generous. But he had to lose. He had to to fail at everything that he built up. Everything he built, he had to break down. And he still claims he's the same way. And is this marriage itself very different? Yes, very different. Uh, we uh, have a home that is lived in. We had many houses uh, before, but we didn't have a home that he was ever in. Take care of who here? Well, I think together we take care of one another. When she's down, I try Gary. to get her feeling good. Gary. Gary has for a long time. Long time. Tell me the truth. Well, thank you. Well, he just assumed that role beautifully, and I was grateful for it, and I encouraged it. And uh, in many, many ways, I don't think he's even aware of. He has responsibilities I think he, that he's not even aware of. Uh, when I found out the kind of of man I had married. It takes time, you know, you're not you sure know when you're you fried. Not for sure. I'd only known him a year and I, I sat and thought about it for a year and I really didn't want to get married again. I had two beautiful children and I, when you've had an unhappy marriage and uh, you've disappointed millions of people by getting a divorce, you know, you think uh, more than one. You don't run off in a week. Besides, I didn't want to take